So we come to the point in our service where we affirm our faith, saying what it is we believe using the words of the creed. And these are ancient words that Christians have been saying for thousands of years. And so as we say that, as we say them, we join in with them. Um, I invite you to stand as we say these words, as we usually would. I'm going to remain seated because otherwise you won't be able to see my head. Something for me to sort out for future weeks. But let's stand together to say these words. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please do have a seat if you've been standing. And we come now to our time of intercession, praying for the world, our community, and for one another, lifting those needs up to God. And I'm going to invite you to interact with the prayers simply using your hands. So this is uh, something that we did a few months back when we first started doing services in church, you might remember. It's just a way to help us connect our bodies with the words of the prayers that we're offering to God. So just begin in that classic prayer pose, putting your hands together. And we come to be still before God. Our hands remind us that we're praying, bringing our concerns before our Heavenly Father. We ask Almighty God that you would hear our prayers now, offered for our world, our community, and ourselves. Have mercy on us and hear our prayer. Amen. Next, clench your hands into fists and hold them as tightly as you can. We do this to remind us of those whose lives are afflicted by human violence. We pray for those parts of the world afflicted by violence. We pray particularly for people who have had to flee their homes due to persecution, violence, and war, and that this has caused them to become refugees. We pray that your peace would enter that violence to allow them to return home, but also would keep them safe in the meantime. We pray for Christians who are persecuted for their faith. We pray particularly for those who are in North Korea, Pakistan, the Middle East, and some areas in Africa. Lord, come and be their peace and their comfort and give them safety. We pray for those whose homes are not safe spaces particularly during this time of lockdown. We ask that you would help them to find the safe retreats and resources they need to be safe. Almighty God, we ask that you would bring your peace into our violence, that you would turn fists into open hands. Amen. Go ahead and open up those fists and now hold one hand open and press a finger into the center of your palm. And we do this to remember that Jesus' hands were pierced as he was crucified on our behalf. He was wounded to restore our relationship with God. And Lord, we thank you for that sacrifice. We thank you that you suffered to bring reconciliation and justice to the world. And we pray for those situations and places where we know that reconciliation is needed, both in our own lives, in our community, and in the wider world. This morning we pray for our brothers and sisters of color, many of whom have experienced injustice simply because of the color of their skin. We pray for those who are discriminated against because of disability, country of origin, or any other reason. We ask that you would bring your reconciliation, justice, and peace to our world and to our community. And we ask that you would help us to recognize one another as your beloved children. Help us to be an active part of bringing reconciliation that allows all to flourish and enables your kingdom to come. Now open both of your hands and just hold them um, open in front of you with your palms facing upward. 
We trust, Lord God, that you provide for each of us physically, emotionally, and spiritually. But we acknowledge we can often feel distress when it seems that our needs for employment, for finance, for food, for peace, for relationship are not provided for. We pray that you would connect all those in need with the resources and help to meet those needs. Help us to be aware of the needs of those around us and actively work to meet those needs where we can. We offer open hands to surrender those things to you that feel like too much for us to handle on our own. And we offer open hands to receive your strength and guidance for our journey. And in a few moments of silence, allow God to give you his love, his strength and his guidance for all those challenges ahead. Amen. Now turning over your hand and just grasp your hands together as if you were holding someone else's hand or if you are watching this service with someone in your household, go ahead and hold hands with them if you'd like. In his ministry on earth, Jesus embodied God's compassion. He met with the sick and the dying. He promised to comfort those who mourn. We pray for those who are sick, suffering or in mourning those in our churches here in Raynham and Wennington and our surrounding communities and any others known to us personally. We pray for those who are ill and in hospital due to coronavirus or any other reason. And in a few moments of silence, we lift up to you those known to us personally who may be suffering in body, mind or spirit and for those who are remaining silent in their suffering as well. We ask, Lord, that all those we lift up to you would know your healing, comfort, compassion, and love. And we pray that we would be sensitive and act as Jesus did, offering comfort and care to those we know who may be suffering. Amen. And then we'll return our hands to that first position we held, that praying hands posture, as we remember God's promise to hear our prayers. And we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together, but we're going to do it slightly differently than we do sometimes. In the prayer course this week, in our morning session, we talked about how often when we pray the Lord's Prayer, which is what the prayer course has been built around, we just say the words and we don't take the time to really reflect on this pattern Jesus has given us to pray. So we're going to, I'm going to pray just a couple of lines at a time, and then I'll leave silence for you to uh Expand those prayers, just reflect on those words, whatever you feel led to do. So let's pray together. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, as our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread.
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.